Hey, welcome back everybody. Here's what we're working on today. As you see, my handy dandy little lift works good to pick up these side by side. This is a 400 Polaris. This is the mid-size one. And uh, what we're gonna do is put a lift kit on it because I wanna put 14 inch tires on here. And so I'm bringing you along so you can watch and uh, hopefully I can help somebody. Now this is my first time putting a lift on one. So please uh, be kind. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Well, first of all, first of all, first, first off, uh, let's get tires off. Simple, right? Four bolt, and they're off. Just set that right there. Now, where this kit, this is the part that goes for the back. And all it does is just push the shock up. Right now they're extended as far up as they can go, these shocks are. So, there it is. So what this is gonna do is, This goes right in here, like that. So this will go here, and then <clears throat> this will set here, and then this will be up here. So it's supposed to give you two inches, but we're gonna see. We got the stabilizer bar we gotta deal with too. So, all right, let's 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 get into her. Uh, this is probably a 14, and I probably don't, I don't let's see if this is it. No. So, got to get my tools. Let's get you closer so you can see what's going on here. All right, let's get her off of there. 15, 15 millimeter. There we go. Goes like that. Let's get push up here. But before you do that, you have to. put in a spacer. Now, the spacer goes down here. So that spacer's gotta go in down there. And I think they have this little extra, so I guess we'll need, no. No, we don't. <clears throat> okay. So, you gotta pull out our bolt they have for this. It's right here. Put that in there. Put the spacer in. Now it come off on me. Come on. Spacer in all the way across. I don't think we need that. We need that. And I guess oh, okay. So this will go back up in here. think that's that's what that little space is for think, to put it in here Let me put that bolt back on there there it is and voila Okay, we got this right, but this washer is supposed to go in 
over here. I guess it can go on either side, but that's where it goes. That's, because you need just a little bit there to uh, help it out. Just a little bit with that washer to keep it all good. There we go. So you put the little spacer over here, you put the washer in the middle, and then that back on. And this is all the way it's supposed to be. So then we just tighten her up. Oops. And threw up the curveball here and made this a 14. Hmm. Almost looked like that spacer need to be on the other side. But that's what brought out in the Oh, I see. Okay. I didn't mess it up. There we go. Like I said, we're learning this together. Okay, we need a spacer here. We need a washer over here too. So now I'm gonna have to pull this thing all the way back out. Lost my washer. Beat that out. Okay, beat that out. We got the small one here. Okay, then. We got a small one there. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Let me tell you, this is gonna be fun. You got all this to die. Okay. Got that in there. By the washer. Okay, see how I'm kind of picking up. <laughs> okay, now I gotta get another washer over here. I tried to beat that back out a little far because it helped that, but I don't know if it worked or not. Get that washer in there. Use something. I use a screwdriver to pull it here. Okay. Have my thing ready to go. Because I see it lined up. There it is. There we go. There we go. All right. I'm telling you, like I said, this is the first time I've done this. Trying to figure it out. Okay. Anyway, I already did that. Yep, that's it. All right. I have to consult the manufacturer's opinion how it goes, which they know what they're doing, right? Well, there it is. There's the one side. Now we got to do the other side. Which is the same way. But now we should be able to do it faster, right? Because we know what we're doing. That's always the case. Put the tire back on. I think it's moving on me. I think it got brakes. Where's my brake? Yeah. Keep forgetting to use my brakes on my lift. And this lift. If you, I mean, I love this lift. What it is is a die cast lift. It's what they use to put up on the big mill machines. The big cast, die cast. I bought it from a guy. He had a couple of them. There it is. All right. Let's swing over to the other side here. And uh, right here. I'll bore, I won't bore you with removing the tire. Already. Bolt off. Move the tire. Okay, now, same thing. We're going the same thing. Pull this off of here. I don't want. Gotta put the 15 on, remember, so it's 15.
Okay. Our next item up here. This one. Alright. Same thing. Goes on there. Got our well, we got the little one too. Got us a nice bolt. That in there. We'll do that. Put this in there. All the way through. There's that one. All right, now we got to pull this one off. Put the smaller one on. Okay. Then we have our two washers. One washer. All right, here it is. Let's figure out what the heck did I do with that other washer? Okay, use your knee. That's what I do. Use my knee. I need my. You can put something underneath over here. I want to get it started with just, just get it in there enough so it maybe holds that. Washer on there. Okay. There we go. And then it's tight. Okay, let's. I don't know. Well, yeah, there it is. There it is. Kind of push it over. Come over in your way. Use my screwdriver. Get lined up. Okay, just all the way in. Hold it. Put it on there. There we go. We're gonna zip this one in. The back one's a 14. Okay. And this is a 15, of course. You already know that. All right, there it is. That's pretty simple, isn't it? All right, now we're gonna put the tire back on. Now the front might not be so easy. It might be a little more difficult, so. Uh, of course, we're going to bring it along so we can figure this out together. Okay, what's nice about this thing is this whole front comes forward. Gets right to where we need to get, right here. This is where we're going to need to live, right here. So, let's get you up closer to the level with the action. Alright, I need to pull this off. Which wrong bolt. So, I said bolt, I mean socket. Right. 19 millimeter. Let's see what's going to happen. There we go. Okay. There's that. Let's just set that on that butt over there. <sighs> okay. Now what I'm getting here is we're gonna have to take this thing off because I cannot take this uh, tie rod in off. So you can put that on there too. Hey, taking the tie right off. Okay. Oop, that did broke. 
Might have to need a new key for that one. That's not it. Fifteen? there I don't have I, I don't the bottom is not a 15 so there we go make it happen right we got all everything here. I don't have to go get nothing there's that there's that now we can ah oh danger danger war rogers okay that might have been I'm holding us but our break was Trying to kill our break. I already killed it. Goofer! Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Let's put this back in. Don't do this, what I'm doing. Watch this so you can learn how. For my mistakes, this it's the this is holding up. So I got to bring the take the brake off. That's about a thirteen. That's a thirteen. We'll pull the brake off because it's gonna be too tight. So the brake caliper and hose has got to come off, and they'll let that down. Then I got a question. I wonder how that's gonna work with the the two inch lift. It might not, but. That or I might take those off. Well, let me see. I'll figure it out here. All right, I decided to try this. Take this off. All right, now that should give us some leeway there. Okay, so here's what we got to do. Okay, get back over here. Let's pick this up. Now we can drop it down. Come on, cooperate with me. Hmm. Shoving it over there. I'm gonna figure this out. That ain't holding it back. Huh. What is holding that back? Yeah, they want to come out. Alright, I gotta figure this out. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, I just took it out. I had an issue with my CV right here. So let me show you how this goes. You put this on top of this and you screw that down. So it's tight. And I'm gonna oh, use the impact because I want to make sure it gets nice and tight. Wrong one. There we go. Okay, she's in there. Okay, then what you saw me doing 
This has got an Allen wrench in that end. You see that? That goes on top. Make sure the Allen wrench is up. That's so you can adjust it if you need to or tighten it up. Put that in there. Okay. Let's see if you can see all this. I don't know if you can even see. You could have. Okay. Then up top here, let me get you in closer so you can see what's going on here. You put this up through it, put that on there, that way, you see how it was before, put that down, put the rubber end down, washer, and then put your nut on there, there it is. Now let me get my business down here fixed. So that's got the two inches on it. Now let me get this CV fix. It pulled out on me. And then I'll bring it back on as we put it all back together. All right. Well, I got my thing taken care of there. My CV. And I'm going to have another video for that. Just put a short one in there. How to fix that CV. All right. Now we're going to put this all back together. As we said, I have that. And let's go up. Have this in here. We need to impact. All right, zip that in there. Uh oh, well, this goes on the bottom because we had to pull that off of that. So let me. Alright, well that bottom ball joint's bad. So right now, it's not too bad. We're going to grease it up and let her go for now. I'll have to cross that bridge because I'm running out of time. But, uh, we'll put, then put it back all. Now it should not take all this to get that off of there, to put that in there. But you see how it goes in there. So we'll do the other side. And I'll bring in there and show you. I'll get this mess all put back together. And uh, we'll, we'll move over to the other side. Alright, let's get this thing back together. I had to put a... Um, I went ahead and put the tie rod in. I was like, why, why mess with that without doing that? You know, why? Don't do it. So I went ahead and uh, changed that out. And I have another video of that. I think I put one in. But there's a guy on... YouTube that's got a good video of it if you want to know more about how to put the tie rod in but I got to keep it focused on one or two certain things so okay here we go we got this putting the brake back on uh, really I probably didn't you don't have to take this off you might well you do well not really you could probably do it without it um, of course I had to take it off but but I'll just show you here. Let's put this back on here. That's the brake, brake line. I got that all up there, and I'll show you. So we'll, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and stop here, and I'll bring you back over when I do the other side. Maybe it'll be a little easier to show you what's, what's going on. All right, I'm over to the other side. Got the tire off. Let's start and see what's going to happen when I pull this off here. All right. I drop down. And again, okay, it ain't going to want, it don't want to come out. Okay, so let's drop to this. Okay, let's take this. Where do that? Let's take the um, cutter pin out.
forgot. There we go. Okay. Let's just put all this right back on here. That way you don't lose it. Okay. Now see, it still won't. And it's something to do with this, I think. <laughs> so it don't want to come out so we can get to it. So... We're going to drop this bottom down here. Let me show you here. Yeah, sunlight's awful. Yeah, let's bring it down here and show you. So we're going to take get back out of there this off it's the bottom ball joint there and I think get the right one there it is so I'm gonna pull remove that and then what you do is you smack a hammer on it right there without hitting the threads and it'll pop it down. So I'm going to put you back in the stand here while I do that. Do all that. Another one. I'll zip this one off. Okay. See, it won't come off. So then you gotta hit it. I'll hit it from this side. Pop it off. Now it'll pop. See that make that release it. So now if you bring over here, see doing that releases it out. Up there. So that's what you gotta do to get that off of there. You gotta pull that off to release it. Alright. Now We take this, let me get in the way of this here, right here. And as you see, you got the hole, it's got a hole there for an Allen wrench. And screw it in there. So, just go in there a little bit, because then you need to screw this down all the way on this. You want that all the way down. There we go. It's all the way down. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Let's release this, pull this up. Put that in there. Then we're going to put that in there. How about that? How about let's try that one? Then you screw that all the way down in there. I'm gonna kill my... I'm just begging to destroy my brake cable there. There we go. Hold this up. And we'll screw that down. Where's the impact? She's up in there. Right. Now we'll go back down here and just put everything back on. Like we pulled it off. Like I said, we're learning as we go here because this is the first time I put a lift kit on. 
one of these. I have a four wheel that's got one on it, but I never put it on there. Okay. Then we're going to. That ain't the right one. We got to tighten this bottom one up. back on your tie rod in put our you know where I put it our, um, oh, where to put the cutter key? Okay, I have to get a cutter key. I don't know why I did my cutter key. They didn't give me one in there, so. Let me get my cutter key. All right, get the cutter key. Don't want to go nowhere. There it is, folks. All back together. Got the cutter key underneath. There she is. So that's putting a two inch lift on this Polaris Ranger 400. So, hey, I hope this uh, helps you. If you're trying to do the same thing, uh, you know, just we got her done. All right, thanks for watching. Take care and have a good one. Thank you.